He just doesn't stop. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna be doing some shoulders and back. I'm gonna film as much of this as I can. I'm in my home gym, Ramshead Recreation Center out here. And my buddy Dan, the man, is coming to work out with me. He's a football player, so he lifts like a football player. Moves everything really fast, really strong for his size. It's going to be a good time. Um, I'm going to start off with some overhead seated dumbbell overhead press. Going to get after it. All right, what's up, guys? So this is my friend Dan. This is Dan, the man. Dan's going to get swole with us today. We're going to do some shoulders. I've done three warm-up sets so far, and we're about to get started. So now start filming the sets. I just went 25s, 50s, and 70s. Dan's gonna start out nice and light, but then he's gonna get heavy too. All right, Dan, just with the first light warm up. Nice and easy. Oh, look at that control. This man was in Morocco for like 19 weeks a little while ago. That's why he's so damn tan. Gonna make me look like a ghost. There we go. Good stuff. Easy. Oh, we're gonna get heavy. We're gonna get heavy today. It's gonna be a good one. Yeah. Next warm up. Chris Greeny handling the 90 pound dumbbells. 10 pound dumbbells. Okay. Oh, 10. I'm sorry. Can't read. We got 90 degree form. Let's put a nice little, little, little square right, right there. You know what I'm saying. Let's go. Still nice and easy. Alright, Dan with the 120s. About to put them up like this cake. Oh my goodness. Oh, look how easy that was. Good. Go a little deeper. Just a little. Yeah, right there. This man's doing pause reps already. Good. All right. Y'all seen enough of this. We'll wait till we get heavy now. Come on. Lightweight. Let's go. Lightweight. We're yep. still on the warm up. <coughs> Christopher Greeny is still on the warm up. 100 pounds. It's like more than half my body weight. All right. Gotta make it easy. Gotta make it fast. Yeah. Easy, you just gotta act like the 20s, right? Yeah, right. Now, when you see when you lift, you have a, have a nice fat vein right on that forehead. Right, right there. It's coming out. Yeah. Look at that vein. See, it's gonna come out more at this fifth rep. Look at that vein. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do it again. With them 60s. Let's go, come on. For real now. Oh yeah. See, look at this man, that's so explosive. Boom. Two. Dan, just do five. Okay. Three, easy. Good. Boom. Look at the pause. Literally doing pause. Put that shit back, that's too light. Yeah. <laughs> There you go, Chris. One more. Okay, y'all. I'm dead now. That was freaking dope, though. Dance turn. I've been lifted in three months. I've been in You've been lifted in three months? I'm smashing rocks and making maps. <laughs> Teach y'all just to. Right? <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, let's go. 70s, come on. This ain't baby weight anymore. Yeah, damn. <laughs> Look at this man. Literally hasn't touched weight in like three months. Overhead pressing 70s right now at a body weight of like 160. <laughs> Come on. Is that five? Yeah. Smashing rocks, baby. Smashing rocks. <laughs> Dan, how much do you weigh? You know, like 160 something? 170? 60? I don't know. <laughs> Beast. Kilos. Like a final burnout set. Hmm. There you go. Good last rep. 
Are you trying? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Good, Dan. Let's go. Yes, Dan. Good stuff. Okay, we just finished shoulder press. So now we're gonna move on to some back stuff. And first we're gonna do um, this neutral grip lap pull down for three sets of 20 to get a good pump before we go into some barbell rows, all right? Look at that form, mate. Look at that form. Mate, those calves. Look at that form. Shut up. Jesus Christ, Chris. You're red as a lobster. Look like at a flaming hot Cheeto. Look at that form. That a boy, Chris. And has an obsession with flaming hot Cheetos. I do man, I love flaming hot Cheetos. <laughs> and Birkenstocks and with Birkenstocks. socks on. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Your turn. Go to 50. Oh yeah. Whew. All right. Good. Yeah. Pull it down. Yep. Really pull your shoulder blades together. Pull your shoulder blades together. There you go. Good. All right, so what I was just telling Dan is, go ahead, Dan. What I was just telling Dan is that here, we're going pretty light for three sets of 20, just trying to get a good, good back pump in before we do barbell rows, because that way, even if you end up cheating on barbell rows a little bit or you go too heavy, because it's hard not to ego lift, um, the right muscles are still getting work because you pump them up with blood before you do the heavy compound move. So it's a pretty good bodybuilding technique. Technique. I like it especially for back because a lot of times it's hard to feel the right contraction in back. But if you do a move like this before you do a move like barbell rows, it, you, you'll be able to feel it a lot better. Damn, need a shave. I know the bumper plates look big, but <laughs> yeah, see, easy. Good, Dan, there you go. Squeeze it, boom, that's it.
So next we're gonna use the seated row to do face pulls for the rear delts and upper back. All right. Go ahead, video this. Way. Inside grip, outside grip. Knuckles facing each other. We'll pull elbows above the ears. Like weight. Elbows are really high. This man, high school earth science teacher, just invited him to his birthday party. <laughs> Freaking geologist. Good, Dan. Look at him look like a football player, bro. <laughs> oh my god. It's just throwing that weight around. So maybe heavier next set? <laughs> Beast mode! Lift it with Dan, be like. <laughs> he just doesn't stop. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> All right, now we're working on the lat width here. Getting some pullovers. You got it, Nick. You going slower, slower. There we go. My man's can't, he's always lifting too explosive. Not too explosive, just explosive. <laughs> there we go. Good. Look at that form. Look at that form. Dude, you just gotta put Party in the USA on again, right? Yeah. Yeah, get hype. Get hype, Dan. <laughs> Alright, come on, seriously, smash this set. I did 22 max reps, so you gotta do 23. 23 reps, Dan, come on. Let's go. Yeah. Ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, two thousand, two thousand and one. How many was that? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Pinkies up. Not using the traps. Just the dots. Ooh, this is a good song. Imagine Dragons. Just getting a good. Um, straight out to the side. Oh shoot, when the beat drops during the song, you want to just keep going. That's enough. Good time. Yep, just like that, weights don't touch the sides, come a little bit faster out of the bottom. Like, so you don't stop at the bottom right away. Yeah, slower though, during the rep. There we go. And the pinkies up just a little. A little more pinkies up, yeah. There we go. Good. Try and feel it right here. On that mid delt, taking the traps out of it. Good. High reps, so hit like 25 here. That was like eight. I don't know. Good. There we go, keep going. Oh, we got that good pump now. That burn? <laughs> Max reps, last set. All right, we're gonna finish back with some pull-ups and then we're gonna do biceps. Why are we doing biceps, Dan? Cause Friday by day. Friday by day. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> 
weight down. <laughs> My man's is beat. <laughs> As you can see, Dan's a little bit tired. It's the difference between, like, he has a ridiculous base strength level for his size and for how often he lifts. But what you really get from consistently lifting a lot is the muscle endurance to be able to last through like a two hour session. So me right now, 215 pounds, I can still do sets of 10 pull-ups. That's just because I'm used to lifting for a long time. Dan has gone ham today. And so he's doing lap pull downs instead. Cause even though normally this man could crank out like 15, 20 pull-ups, I'm telling you, if he came in and did it first. But his body's just not used to lifting for two hours. It's used to, look at, it's used to looking at rocks for two hours though. <laughs> Good stuff though, Dan, crushing it today. All right, you know what's so hype? When, when filming, I don't really use headphones because every time I put the camera on, um, it cuts my music off. So it's like not, there's not really a point. And there are apps that you can get, but like in some of my other videos, the camera the focus messes up and stuff when I use them. So I don't really use them. Um, but the song Centuries by Fall Out Boy just came on in the gym right before my set. So I got like five extra reps. And then music changes me, man. You put a good, a good song on and it really like, I mean, just pumps me up. I love it. This is my actual, this is actually, this is my alarm in the morning. When I wake up at 5.45 to lift, I wake up. I wish I could wake up to that. <laughs> I wake up to centuries like screaming at me. It's hype. Whew, all right, time for some biceps. Let's crush it. Dumbbell press of 70s. My man's finishing the workout doing one dumbbell that's a, a 10 <laughs> for curls. To be fair, that was like 36 reps, but still. <laughs> the fake, the fakest of tool bags, Dan. <laughs> Working on his last set of biceps. 36 total reps per set. 12 regular curls, 12 hammer curls. Then you drop one dumbbell and do 12 drag curls with open palms. It's brutal. Just three sets, 36 reps each. Good bicep finisher, shoulders back, and a little bit of biceps because it's Friday. All right, guys, me and Dan heading out, <laughs> putting in work over here. See you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoy.